February to all of you. It seems like it's been so long since we've been together. We got everything recorded for Christmas. It was Christmas, then we all had to be careful for a while, and now we're beginning to come back into choir. So we are planning to come back in person the week after spring break, which will be like the week of the 20-something of, uh, of March. And I want to get us started on the three trees. Our plan is that on May 23rd in Dogwood Park, we are going to perform the Tale of Three Trees. That's our singers in kindergarten through grade six. This is a wonderful musical. It's a story based on an American folk story about the three trees and what they became. One became the manger in the stable where the animals were fed and where baby Jesus was placed when he was born. The second tree became a boat, and that's the boat that Jesus was in when he was preaching, and the storm came, and that little boat just rocked and shook with all the wind that was blowing around on the lake. And if you remember, Jesus stood and calmed the storm. And then the third tree became the cross that Jesus carried to Calvary. So the story is written by my friend Alan Pote and Tom Long. And what I wanted to do today was introduce you to a couple of things in the book. Now, we have ordered CDs for everybody. And you'll be able to pick those up as soon as they come in. I'll let your parents know. And you can pick up your copy of the book. We will all be learning various parts of it, but we'll put it together in those weeks that we are back in rehearsals from March until May the 23rd. Then on the night of May the 23rd at 3rd in Dogwood Park, we'll perform this, and the adults are going to do that wonderful gospel mass by Robert Ray. So... Let's get started. The main theme is going to be on page 10. And this is a melody that we sing several times. And the first interval goes from one to five, one, two, three, four, five. And we want to be sure we get up on top of that note. Listen to this carefully. So make sure they are all ready to work and you put all of the vowels nice and tall, but the consonants, that's what makes the word make sense. So try that with me if you want to find it on page 10 and follow along with your finger on that melody. Here we go. Listen. 
listen to your CD, be sure you follow along with your book. If you're in kindergarten or first grade, you may need somebody to help you with that. But every time you come to that little melody, turn the page down because that's what you're going to be singing there. The older singers, fifth and sixth graders, may be singing a different melody sometimes, but you're always going to sing that melody. The other one I want to tell you about today is on page 20. And it, it is called the chopping song. And there are three different ways that we chop at the wood. So if you'll turn to page 20, I'm going to tell you and introduce you to each one of those ways so that when you are listening to the CD, you can find the different groups. We're all going to learn all of the groups so we understand what's going on. Then we'll stand very firm and sing just our group. The first group is the cutters. And the cutters have, a, they have a, they're gonna mine some big swinging motions because they've got these uh, hatchets that they're just cutting that wood with. And boy, does it take articulators. It goes like this. With the swing and the chuck, and the swing and the chuck, and the swing and the chuck, and the yell. With the swing and the chuck, and the swing and the chuck, and the swing and the chuck. Come on! Now that very first section, the cutters, is right here on page 20. And if you notice, everything has musical notes till you get to the word yell, and it's spoken. And when you get to the word, come on, it's spoken. Now, let's try that cutter's part, okay? Here we go. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a yell. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, come on. Good for you. Now, the swing and a chop, swing and a chop. On that second one, or actually the third one goes up, this one, with a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a yell. After you go up on the third one, that's when you have the shouted words. The first one is yell. The second one is come on. Now, as we do it, the second set on page 21, you have very similar things going on. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a yell. Watch this one. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop. New words. Stand clear. The first one is come on. The second set is stand clear. And you can see that right at the bottom of 21. It's okay to underline that so you know that's happening. But guess what? You turn the page. And this time the new word is look out. Start at the top of 22 with that very first one with me. Here we go. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a yell. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop. Look out. Good job. Now the fourth one at the bottom of page 23, with a swing and a chop and a yell, and when we get to it at the top of page 24, guess what? We don't have any words. We just have with a swing and a chop and a swing and a chop. With a swing and a chop. Stand clear at the bottom of 21. Then at the top of, I'm sorry, have I lost my page? I'm sorry, bottom of 23, we do swing and a chop and a yell. Then when we get to the top of 24, with a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, they swung their blades and the first tree fell. They swung their blades and the first tree fell. Would 
you try the choppers with me, the cutters with me, okay? We're going back to the bottom of 20, and I'm going to give you downs and ups. Here we go. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a, yeah. With a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop, and a swing and a chop. Come on, then we listen for the part to bring us back in again. The sawers start right in the middle of 21, and they are literally going to have a pretend saw that they go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, and after they do that, they say, stop and yell. Look at it on page 21. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, stop and yell. I did have to yell over that sound, didn't I? Then the next line goes, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, stand clear. So it's stop and yell, stand clear. Let's see if we can do that entire sequence. Are you ready? Here we go. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, stop and yell. Then you listen for the entrance music on page 22. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, stop and yell. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, look out. Good for you. New entrance music. The first group starts us with a swing and a chop. They've done their whole sequence. We listen for the entrance music at the top of 21. Stop and yell, back, forth, 
Now then, the next part we're going to learn is always the most fun. These people are the choppers. And they just have this little chop, 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 yell. And chop, 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 chop. It's hard to say because you've got to ch and put an ah in the middle. Chop, 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 chop. So make sure your mouth is really working. Look at the top of 22. This is what happens. The choppers are group three. They're on the very bottom line. Okay, here we go. Chop, 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 yeah. Chop, 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 chop. Look out. But you know what? It's kind of like a big mess if we don't all stay on our parts. Well, that's enough to get you started. This CD or the CD and book will be ready for you as soon as it gets here. I will let your folks know and you can pick them up. I want us to have a great group because I'm so hungry for us to be back to normal and doing our choir stuff. The Three Trees, you're going to love it. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.